Frame analysis. Video 15. Concrete design according to first order theory part 3. The effect of initial bow imperfection must be considered both when the analysis is done according to first order and second order theory for concrete. As we saw earlier for steel, this was necessary only at second order theory. We therefore define initial bow imperfections for the entire frame. For steel, the initial bow imperfection value is automatically calculated, but for concrete, it shall be specified. We chose input initial bow imperfection and see that the default value is 400, which means that the imperfection value is the length divided with 400, which is an appropriate value according to the code, if not a more favorable ba value based on the current conditions can be used. The calculation with respect to cracking is, as we mentioned previously, iterative, when the program constantly detects how the members will crack, and to get sufficient accuracy in the calculation, a number of calculation sections are required. This is done with the option Calculation Adjustments. For members with normal length, it's recommended that the distance between the calculation sections not exceeds about one meter but in some cases a closer distance may be appropriate. In this case we choose one meter. We, we now want to check if the initial reinforcement is sufficient and choose Calculate. As we in this case shall base the design on a first order analysis, we chose to disable second order theory. We want to take into account the cracking of the concrete and make sure this box is activated. When the calculation is complete, as we saw earlier, the moment distribution for the frame will be displayed. We will now go to program part design. The input available we have previously examined for the steel example, but we see that some choices are inactive because they are not interesting for concrete. Under the option support conditions, the support conditions with respect to backing out of the plane frame are defined. Since we have chosen to define rigid support previously, the program has selected the supports to be rigid hinged also with regard to backing out of the plane. As we calculate according to first order theory, the user has to enter the backing length also in the frame plane, and as we saw earlier in the steel example, if no backing length is specified, the member's actual length will be chosen as backing length. We now perform a design and see that the columns are colored green, but the beam member 2 turns red, indicated a problem with the capacity. The utilization table shows that the beam is overutilized by about 36%. In the code check window for member 2, we see that the design is made in accordance with EM587 which means the stiffness method. We see that the capacity for flexural buckling is within permissible limits, but we have problems with shear at section 1.5 into the beam, and also the allowed compressive stress in the serviceability limit state is exceeded. 